Hello everyone, and welcome to a game of World of Warships. Today it's one of my replays, and I'm in the Des Moines, a tier 10 US cruiser. I'm on the map Trap in a free point nomination game. And honestly, Trap is a pretty fitting uh, title for how this is gonna go. <laughs> in a way. Anyway. So, there is a carrier, there are two subs, and... I'm here at the A camp. I'm trying to shoot the clip air, which isn't working because, I mean, as you can see, right share travel time is quite a bit. So the Des Moines is about 10 sec, uh, the clip air is about 10 seconds from my Des Moines in share travel time. And 10 seconds is a lot of time for, you know, uh, a French destroyer to move in an unpredictable way. So, hey, I got the hit and the fire there. <laughs> Meanwhile, there is a sub in the center that I'm trying to hit with my planes. And I actually got a hit there. So, let's use some more planes then, maybe. The ship is on fire. I've got a double fire on me, let's damage connect and let's heal. So I have a division right here who could technically Problem smoke solved, me at sir. some point. That might come into play later for now. The I'm still trying to help with this sub. I could shoot the clip air, but honestly, the thing is, right? Some of those uh, fast gunboats are just really hard to hit in a cruiser unless you have very good shell travel time. And I mean, this clip air is, he's doing it well, right? He's not just sailing in a straight line. He's going backwards, forwards. He's doing his best to dodge any shells, right? And that's why he is still so incredibly healthy, because unfortunately, you see here, he's barely moving at this point, he's actually going to reverse now. But that doesn't mean, you know, even reversing, he's actually pretty fast, he's also dodging torps. Meanwhile, still trying to engage this sub. And yeah. And he's going forward again. So I'm not claiming I'm the best shot, but fire. honestly, like at this range, shooting a clip air is that knows what it's doing is pretty much pointless. <laughs> to so I could try to shoot the Yoshino instead. The problem, of course, Capitos is the clip air, on the other hand, has no trouble shooting me. So far, I'm in a very, very bad spot. I'm just getting farmed, and I don't really know exactly how to do this. I still have this poison here with me. The poison hasn't have any more luck shooting this clip air. So this clip air is just farming us and we don't really have anything we can do about it because in order to shoot it we'd have to get either lucky or closer. But we can't get closer because there are Yoshino and Moscow and the crew so Now there is a sub encroaching on us from behind so if we were to try to disengage from the... Uh, if I were to try to disengage behind me, I'd run face first into a sub. Now, there is also some interesting development, because the friendly midway is coming out. Now, I can only presume that the midway's idea is to, to dodge the sub. The ship is on fire. Meanwhile, I got the uh, flooding into the sub, by the way. And I'm finally getting something that I can somewhat shoot, like the Yoshino. The problem is my poison is almost dead. And, well, I mean, the clay bear is just farming us, you know. Now the good news is we do have the cap. We also technically have the center cap, although we are losing that currently. Viper, my other division mate, is on the way north to help at sea. And here comes my friendly gearing with some smoke screen. Now while that protects me from getting found by the clip air, the ship is on fire. I mean I still have to worry Problem about potential solved, torpedoes. Sir. Also keep in mind that. The uh, smoke fire penalty of the Des Moines is pretty bad, so that Yoshino is technically too close, of course you can't really see me over those islands currently. The Yoshino is... Uh, it's getting farmed by the mid -rider. Anyway, now if you're wondering why I'm raidering here, keep in mind that there is still a sub. But you can only raider a sub when it's on the surface, right? Even if it's on periscope depth, you can't raider a sub. You can hydro a sub when it's on periscope depth and when it's on the surface, but you can't really hydro a sub when it's diving. Well, you get the two kilometers. <laughs> so, 
Even though I have Hydro and Radar, we don't really have tools to spot the submarine because there are no tools to spot the submarine. Except for another submarine, I guess. Now, meanwhile, the friendly carrier has come here to hide with me in the smoke screen. And, you know, I'm I'm honestly pretty the much... Uh, oh, the Cliberis. Well, maybe we can shoot. If it's actually going broadside, then I might be able to get some hits. So I'm getting pretty desperate here because I know there is a sub behind me. I mean, minor spoilers, there are two subs. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> or there will be. But anyway, we know that... Uh, no, we're right. So there's a core first in front of me and a Moskva. There's still the clip air. There's a sub coming from behind. We still have the Yoshino there, so maybe the sub's focusing on that. Well, I have my division mate here, but the radar is currently running, so he's trying to not get bombed by, by that. Now, the good news is I have uh, about 67,000 hit points in spaced armor. <laughs> or in other words... Wait, the Corvus is actually shooting me. People like shooting carriers a lot, right? So RPF just switched. RPF switching means that the submarine is now surfing. Well, actually, I think RPF is tracking on periscope depth too. So it's probably that. Or maybe it's surfaced. I'm not entirely sure. RPF obviously doesn't work when it's time. But that means the submarine... Well, okay, RPF switched again. Maybe actually the... Oh, oh, and that sub's close enough that I could hydro it actually. But also, uh, let's get some depth charges going. I can shoot there. I should be hydro here, by the way. Because technically, the sub should be close enough that I can hydro. Well, uh, obviously not if it dives. <laughs> because if it dives, hydro won't work anymore. So there is the hydro. But the sub is also reversing out of it. And more importantly, there is a broadside Moskva. <laughs> so... Armor piercing and charging it is. So I'm not sure what this Moskva was thinking, but I'll take it. Okay, so that's the Moskva there. Now, there is still the, the Kurfürst, that's an issue. Uh, the sub obviously is still alive, even though I've got some death charges in it, I think. My division mate is uh, in the gearing. He is trying to go after the sub, so he's trying to sail on top of it. Now, of course, technically, a submarine counters a uh, destroyer pretty hard. But he is approaching it from the side, so that should work. Because if he's coming from the side, then the sub can't top him. And he might even be able to close the... And oh, oh yeah, we, we got the sub. We got the sub. Okay. So, we've lost the carrier here, which means my additional health point pool has been depleted. <laughs> and... Uh, now I have to charge the Kurvis. By the way, I'm already over 2 million potential damage. And, you know, I told you there would be two subs because the second sub's here. <laughs> uh, now the good news is that Kurvis is going down. And that can't happen fast enough. Got another depth charge into the sub. Also, I'm still on fire. I'm mildly panicking. Well, I've been mildly panicking this entire game so far. <laughs> I have two fires on me, but damage con isn't quite ready. And uh, I'm looking to see if I can see something where the sub is and where I want to drop there. Now, I'm just going to go into concealment here. As I've established, I can't I can't hit the clear bear on range if it's dodging. So my only chance against the clear bear is getting closer, right? So I definitely won't shoot until I'm as close as possible comes to detection now there are two ways of me playing this i could just try to sit here in concealment and try to cap but i think that Kleber is well i mean he keeps shooting this area and he'll eventually get hits i mean he doesn't care about being spotted because the entire game we haven't really been able to touch but now i'm I'm like, okay, screw this, right? I'm gonna go after this clip here. I'm not gonna just charge full speed undetected. If I get close enough, then I can totally sink it. Although hit point wise, it's getting more and more problematic too. The clip air is also going towards the zone wall. So it doesn't have the entire open ocean. And now, oh, damn it, I'm... <laughs> I'm big by a sub. This is bad. This is really bad because I'm... And there is a double... Of course there's a double fire. 
So yeah, this Clipper is soon going to run into a Silver Wall. Now, if he's gonna Silver Wall Surf, that's not gonna make it easy, but, you know. Now, my Midway might be dead, but it still has one flight of planes, and it looks like it's trying to help with the Clipper. So, I'm damage cutting the fires. I've always... Problem solved, uh, sir. I also got rid of the ping, but there might be more. And, you know, now I need to try to sink the Clipper. Now, once again, I'm radaring. Simply because I'm hoping Torpedoes to catch this up, but I can only radar if it if it's on the surface, right? And it is Now there are torpedoes from the stern, those Torpedoes are the sub torpedoes, astern. but I've uh, cleared Torpedoes the ping, so it's fine. And finally the Kleber is wedged in a situation against the zone wall where I can start hitting him. And that's the Kleber. And while I've gotten re-pinged. Which I can damage count, but I've just dodged the torps in. It does look like the sub might have used all of its torps in that. Now subs are a lot more dangerous if they stagger their torp launches, right? Because then it's just like a stream of torps that is a lot harder to dodge and allows them to reapply pings a lot easier. But anyway, there are there are more torps coming. But the ping has currently run out, so I can dodge Torpedoes those easily enough. My damage can would be ready if I need it. Yeah, it looks like this sub is just using all of its torps at once, Torpedoes so disturbed. that's good news. Now, we've uh, taken the lead pretty heavily on the ships, not so much at the caps. I think our team is gonna grab B. Question is, how do I wanna do this? There's still a Sherman and a carry. And, you know, if we just all leave here, then the sub's gonna take this cap. But there are no tools to spot the sub. I mean, I'm currently hydroing, but as we've established, right, unless it's in periscope depth, I can't actually hydro it. So, oh, there it is. So it was diving, it's now surfacing, oh, damn it. I'm fully broadside to it, it can shotgun me. Or can it? <laughs> Save me! Save me, gearing! <laughs> so I basically had a, a, well, a shield with the gearing, and even though they touched, it was actually the depth charge that took out the sub. So yeah, the sub could have shotgunned me, but my gearing, like, was body blocking, and was too close to actually get torped himself, so... <laughs> Okay, so, you know, two, almost 2.9 million potential damage in any moon. And honestly, basically, this game is over, so... I haven't managed to get close enough to do anything anymore this game, and we've just won, so let's... Let's just jump right to the results. So, honestly, this battle was pure insanity. I mean, I was sandwiched between, like, the submarines and the enemy fleet in this cap. There was the Kleber that I just couldn't hit and was farming us. And then there was even the carrier right next to me. So... <laughs> and somehow I survived. <laughs> uh, by the way, a uh, shout out to our Moskva, who had an insane game and also shot down 74 planes. So, I mean, the, end, the other flank had some excitement too, I suppose. But yeah, here on our side, we, we had some crazy things going on. Obviously, I got, what, like 2.9 million potential damage in the Des Moines, which is uh, pretty interesting, and I survived. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you next time.